one of the main reasons why riders fail to do nose pivots in technical terrain is, well, stay tuned to find out. Hello, my name is Roxy. I'm a full-time mountain bike coach and I'm currently in the Fichte Mountains, which is called Fichtelgebirge in German. And this is in Germany, where I'm currently coaching. So I've been coaching here for hmm, four weeks straight without a single free day. And today's my first free day, which I would like to spend here in the woods with you, showing you, well, giving you three tips about how to master tight turns with nose pivots. Tip number one is work on your fundamentals first. Nose pivot turns are a very advanced skill. If you don't know my skills pyramid, my mountain bike skills algorithm yet, then check it out right here and I've also linked it below in the description and in the pinned comment. If you have seen the skills pyramid, you'll see that trial skills and nose pivot turns belong to trial skills are way up the skills pyramid. So you need a lot of skills because you need a lot of finesse in order to perform nose pivots in a controlled fashion. So if you're not doing them with strength and if you want to do them with finesse, then you need solid fundamentals. And that is my suggestion. Tip number one is work on solid fundamental fundamentals first. Work your way up step by step why? Because nose pivots are a high consequence skill. <laughs> the risk of going over the bars is high and especially if you're doing it here or in a terrain where you actually need it, then the turn is so tight that, and usually the terrain is so steep that the cost of error is very high. So work your way up step by step slowly in order to avoid crashes. Tip number two is that you should focus on quality over quantity. I mean that it's better to work on small and precise nose pivots than working on big and unclean ones. Often riders want to do really big nose pivots and the problem is this often causes an overswinging to the side or it causes that they tip over, go over the handlebars. Because to perform a big nose pivot, you need to lift the rear wheel higher to keep it in the air for longer, right? Here is an example of me doing small and precise nose pivots. And here's an example of a bigger one and you can see that it's easier to get unclean so it's not a nice one what you saw happening right now is pretty common when people focus on doing big nose pivots rather than working on small and precise ones so always work on finesse first before you add amplitude and before you add strength that's a kind of a, well, a tip that applies to many areas, but especially to nose pivots. And tip number three for today, and that is probably also the reason why many people fail to actually take nose pivots to the trail, is that they focus on too much hip movement. It's a common misconception that you need to swing your hips to the outside to swing the rear of the bike to the outside. But actually, if you now look at my nose pivots right here, can you see that it's my upper body that's already turning into the turn, as in I'm rotating into the turn, and then my rear wheel follows. So it's more a lining up of the rear wheel. Of course, the hips rotate with it, but it's initiated by my upper body already rotating into the turn. If you'd like to work on your fundamentals with me, then I have a new fundamentals course. It's right here and also linked below in the pinned comment and in the description because boy, your fundamentals will change everything about your riding. Once you have solid fundamentals, you will feel, feel more confident. You will feel definitely more competent and competence leads to confidence. So 
I can always, no matter what your level, recommend to regress, to progress, to rebuild your solid foundation with some solid fundamentals. Oh, and you're asking yourself, now what's the main reason why people can't do nose pivots in technical terrain? Well, reason number one is they progress too fast. So no solid fundamentals, progressing to nose pivots too fast, and then not succeeding at them. Then reason number two is people focus on quality too late. So they first they focus on quantity, on doing big nose pivots, before they focus on precision. And that causes stagnation. And of course, reason number three is they, they work too much with their hips. So if you do the opposite kind of, of what I'm telling in my tips, then you won't succeed. <laughs> and that is why I wanted to share these tips because they are, these three are the main reason why I see people never actually reaching nice nose pivots, finesse in their nose pivots, and never being able to apply them in technical terrain because they miss these three points. Thank you for being here. Do click the thumb up. If you'd like to support me for keeping my videos ads free, then do become a supporter on my Patreon channel. And also if you become a Patreon, patro, sorry, a Patreon, no, if you become a patron on Patreon, then you'll get access to many more exclusive videos. Sending much love. Goodbye. Now, over and out, <laughs> goodbye.